What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So I'm talking about Scream 6 in this video here today. So a very exciting image came out courtesy of the Scream experience that's going on out in New York. If you're in attendance at that event, hope you're having a lot of fun out there. But some people, part of the... Uh, part of the media i would say are at this event and they were able to get an image of a very cool tidbit that gives us an idea of what gail's role will actually be in scream six N not that we don't know what it is already but like giving some context of what she might have been through between five to six and what she's been working on as it pertains to why she may be a target in scream six so this is coming to us from donato do do nato bomb do yeah do nato bomb i'll leave a link to the twitter post in the description but they put out this image that clearly showcases that gail weathers must have gone ahead and wrote that book after all in scream six related to the events of scream five because as you see in this stack of books it says requel terror returns to woodsboro now i will say this before i get into my whole thoughts on this I see so many people already like, oh my gosh, this is terrible. The writers are backtracking. Oh my gosh. It's such a it's a it's such a stab in the back to her character growth. I don't agree with that at all. I think also, of course, if you immediately want to assume the worst context possible, then sure you would think that this means they're trying to backtrack on on the on the notions that she had at the end of five about not wanting to write a book about amber and richie and letting them die in anonymity and instead expressed interest in wanting to sh in wanting to write a book about dewey and the good man that he was and how he used to be sheriff of woodsboro and probably also go into some other personal connections that we know exist between them because they were married for a good chunk of time however what if it wasn't completely up to gail in the sense of gail weathers she has people to answer to I don't see a lot of people really considering that. Gail Weathers has people to answer to. Gail Weathers is not her own boss. She has to answer to somebody. So what if she wrote this book out of pressure from those higher ups, those producers? For instance, the fact that she came to Woodsboro in Screen 5, she makes it a point to mention that she came not only was, was it because she was worried about Dewey, her producers wanted her to cover this. So could it be a case again where in Scream 6, this is what's happening? Because we saw that created some tension between her and Dewey in Scream 5. But we know that there's also going to be tension between her, Sam, and Tara in Scream 6. And it seems it's tied to this new book. What if Gail Weathers didn't specifically solely want to have a wholehearted desire to write this book? What if it came down to the fact that it was either her, her career that she could throw away, or you write this book? And she decided, hey, you know what? This is what I what I do best anyway. I have a record of putting out novels that are based on real events and they tend to be a very big success. Now she may not she may have tried to push against that and wanted to do that book for that was based on Dewey Riley. But instead, she was told, hey, you can either do this or we're gonna pull the plug on your show. Something like that. It could just be again pressure from those higher ups that forced her into making the decision say you know what whatever comes my way i'll just accept it because i need to protect my brand i'm going to write this book about amber and richie and i'm still going to weave in the chunk about dewey that i really want to do my book on maybe they agreed to do that just to satisfy her and that's why she agreed to do the book after all so some people are like oh well this is backtracking against her arc and her growth i would like to remind people that this is just who gail is gail weathers is somebody who is very complex she's somebody who is we know very much so not just a bitchy individual she is very layered and complex like many people are they're not so surface level and gail is somebody who we know over time we've gr we've grown to love and appreciate her and see that there is much more to her than what she wants to cover in the news she is very she is becoming someone who is very much so in, in uh, touch with her emotions someone who is aware of how other people feel about what she does but at the end of the day she's also been somebody who says you know what let people think what they want to think. Let them feel how they want to feel. I'm going to do what's best for me and my brand. That's not backtracking on her in any way. I think if anything, that's continue to be consistent with who she is. Because if it also came down to the fact that she just simply wanted to write it, I see no problem with that. The other thing with this that I know people probably aren't thinking about is just how exciting this might make things. What if there is somebody in this movie who is upset about not only the contents of this book, but they're upset about how it paints amber and richie i mean 
we know that Sam presumably is mad because Sam is dealing with the rumor that she is the one responsible for the murders of Scream 5. So that can explain why she has an issue with Gail in Scream 6. But then this book is only adding to that conspiracy. What if there are a pair of people out there who do not like what is in this book because it paints Sam as a hero while exposing who she is, which is why Sam is upset with Gail. But those individuals who are who are not happy with how it paints Amber and Richie, because they could be a pair of people who believe that Amber and Richie were innocent. They are the ones that are doing these killing sprees and they are the ones that are coming after Gail Weathers. And that explains why Gail Weathers is a target. So there's a lot of exciting possibilities about this angle, too. I just don't think it's so black and white in the sense of, oh, they're just backtracking completely, devaluing her growth over time. If anything, I think it's just showcasing that something might have gone down in between five and six that led to her deciding you say, you know what, I'm going to write this book. As long as I get to do my chunk on my late husband, then I will do this book for you guys because I do not want to have my show pulled off the air. I do not want to have my brand deteriorated after I worked so hard to get it back up. I mean, she was struggling in screen four. If anything, this is something that I can forgive you of, Gail. I can forgive you of this. This is something you literally decided to do because of the fact that you just know, hey, I tried to write some other things and they just don't work. So I, I had to go back to what I do best. It's understandable. I can be mad at you, but I'm not going to say that's completely against who you are. It's understandable, especially if, again, there's a factor to it that relates to her higher ups. The book, though, I'm very certain has something to do with what these killers are are upset about sam might not be the only one upset about this book it could be the killers as well so there's a lot of exciting possibilities people should try to consider too before we just all get upset because gail wrote a new book i mean it is what it is she wrote a book it's not the biggest red flag about this movie i know that people just have an issue with how the writers handled screen five to begin with so they try to look for anything they can to park on them when it comes to writing screen six I don't think this is a big backtrack on anything about Gail, especially when we don't have all the complete context. I expect this to be very in line with her character. Even if she didn't have any type of interference from her higher ups, her writing a new book, it's understandable if she has a very good reason. Now, if she doesn't have a good reason, then so be it. She just doesn't have a good reason. I still wouldn't say that her writing this book is something that is a big, massive issue. It could again be done for a simple plot device that they want to use in the movie. But you guys can let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.